We ended up staying on top of the mountain last night. The two boys slept in the, uh, the little cabin or shelter, if you want to call it. And I cowboy camped just outside the door, but I had shelter as well from, from a rock wall that someone had built. But the stars were pretty cool last night. Seen quite a few shooting stars. And uh, myself and Freewheel had to gather some snow again, just to cook. So we've got four and a half miles now. Uh, and a 500 foot climb to the next water. And this is all I have. That's all I have left. And my mouth was already like a fur boot. So this is gonna be interesting. It's pretty exposed, but I'm gonna try and get to the water as, as quick as I possibly can. But what a way to end our last night at 12,000 feet. Spectacular, beautiful, incredible. So uh, once again, thank you very much to the Rockies in Colorado. And uh, I'm gonna try and get to this water before I die of uh, dehydration. I'm not gonna die, I'll make it. I'm out of water now, but thankfully, I'm only about a mile and a half away from the next stream, which is good. But when I say I'm out of water, I just took my last, uh, I just took my last sip. And when I say sip, it basically only moistened the cracks in my lips. So my mouth is really, really dry. My tongue is sticking to the top of my mouth and um, it's really hard to swallow. Well, I don't have anything to swallow actually. My mouth's that dry, but I'm almost there. Thank God. I'll drink about three liters at least. And uh, I'm going to eat like a king too because I'm starving. I made it to the water. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having a cold drink. It looks like I can drink it straight. It's coming straight out of the ground, which is good. So, but I'm exhausted. That took it out of me, hey? No water. But I'm one happy man. Yeah, that would have been tough. Down. <sighs> We've just left the water, had some coffee, had a snack. And we're filled up now for 10 and a half miles. So that'll be the next water. So we're we're getting back into the stages where we're, we're going to have to carry some water. Because the whole way through Colorado, I was just basically carrying that until, uh, until camp at night. But we're, uh, we're very tired as well. We're exhausted. We're, uh, we've, been, we've been knocked around by these mountains. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that, that's for sure. It's been tough. My legs are very heavy. Um, Freewheel's on the same boat, Montana's on the same boat. It's just the big climbs are, the big climbs are tough in the body, but uh, we've got a we've got a three thousand foot climb as well over the course of these ten miles until we get to the next water. But it's uh, it's sort of broken up, so it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Yesterday was basically straight up, but the views were incredible yesterday. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get out of the tree line again today. We've just taken off from camp and I absolutely got mauled last night by mosquitoes. There were thousands. So we believe that today we passed through a few sections that's going to have uh, quite a few numbers of these bloodsuckers. So it's nippy at the minute. They haven't, uh, they haven't woken up yet, which is good. And it's good for us because we've still 17 miles to get to town. We didn't do the miles we were supposed to do yesterday. We're just exhausted. My legs are are very heavy. 
They're full of lactic acid and I definitely need a rest, but we're not going to stop for a full day off until we get to until we get to Wyoming. So we've still got still got the guts of 100 miles to go now, or slightly less. I've gone off trail, and now I've got to climb up, climb up this steep drop off. So the trail's probably another. Go away, mosquitoes! Go away. The trail's probably another point two up there, but it's going to take me a lot longer to go back the other way. <laughs> it is, but it is. Back on trail and almost at the top now actually. I made a mistake this morning. It wasn't 17 miles from camp. It was 20 miles from camp. So we just got up to the top of the hill there now and we have a 17 mile road walk, well dirt road walk, the whole way to the highway so we can hitch. A uh, bit of a kick in the stones, to be honest with you. I didn't, uh, I didn't check the miles this morning, so it's my own fault. <laughs> Can't be. There's no way. There's no way. This is. There's no way. Oh! <laughs> Would you believe this? <laughs> Someone. Some absolute legend left a cold beer in a cold stream. What a legend. Whoever left this, absolute legend. We're walking through the heat and it's pretty goddamn hot, I'll tell you. And this is the first water source we came across and it's not the best. But <laughs> I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Thank you, thank you, you absolute legend, you absolute legend, and it's cold, great. That beer was tasty, and the boys enjoyed it too, even though it was only one, we made the most of it. It was like, it was like that, uh, that scene out of Shawshank, when big Andy Dufresne managed to get the boys a few bottles of coca-cola even though we only had, we only had one beer but uh, the boys sitting back chilling out sipping on a nice amber but thank you once again to the legend who left it behind but we have 13 miles to do now it's 10:30. Uh, i'm gonna try and do it in four hours if i can it is pretty flat but it's hot but luck we'll see see how it goes and uh, hopefully try and try and get the town for uh, four or five o'clock at the latest so we've got to try and get a hitch as well which should be interesting, but let's, let's see what happens. It's a day for getting off trail. I've just gone slightly over half a mile in the wrong direction, on the wrong road and downhill. So I just checked because I knew I should have been coming up on water and I didn't see any of Freewood's footprints. So I knew something was up. So I've got to get, uh, Gotta get back up this hill again in the blistering heat. <laughs> Fun time! I'm back on trail, and that's the way I'm supposed to be going. I came from up there, and I was in a world of my own, and I went the whole way down there, around the corner, a few switchbacks. And when I checked to see how far I was away, that was as the crow flies. So I think it was about a mile off. Stupid, stupid. But anyway, I'm back on trail. 
There's a CDT sign there as well. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even think to turn around. I just kept going straight. Ah, but anyway, I'm so hungry too. I'm so hungry for town food. And you end up doing something stupid like that. I'm starving. Absolutely starving. I think we're about nine. Nine miles away now, I think. Nine, maybe ten. Uh, so, so been another, hopefully no more than three hours. I'm down to one snack bar now. And just a handful of meals. So, I'll, uh, I'll probably stop in about an hour, an hour and a half. And eat my last snack bar. And then push on. I'm almost at the water. I'm only a mile away now. But I have another problem. I have a big blister developing on underneath my uh, my right foot. And I'm doing my best not to pay any attention to it. But I can feel it with every step. So I'll check it now when I get down to the water. But I noticed that last night it was starting to develop because the, uh, the trails have been pretty dusty and dirty and it's getting inside the socks and getting inside the shoes and the inevitable is happening it's a, it's a rubber match between the grit and my, uh, my skin but uh, this one this one definitely is is, uh, is sending shockwaves up the back of my leg because uh, it was a little bit big last night I should have probably took better care of it but look, once again, it is what it is. Just gotta get down to this water. And I actually have just the little tiniest bit of water left, which is good. And I'm glad it was all downhill. Made it to the water. Let's have a look at this foot. It's actually not as bad as I thought, but they stink of vinegar, same as last night. They're not exactly the cleanest. We're just coming up on the highway now. We can just see it in the distance. And would you believe it? That mountain is actually called Granny's Nipple. Check it out. Outside Steamboat Springs, Colorado. We're almost there. I'm only a few, a few hundred meters away now. So I'll be soon, hopefully, dining in town and drinking a nice cold beer. First hitch took four hours, second hitch took four seconds.